Coming up on this week's episode, it's the end. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> it's potentially the end. Let's bum, find bum, out bum. more on this week's episode of... My name is Fraser. And my name is Kai. First of all, how was your Christmas, Kai? Um... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're recording this before Christmas, so obviously we are... Uh, <laughs> We don't know um, what Christmas is going to be like, and we just know that we're not going to be around uh, to record over Christmas. It's for family, after all. Um, so hopefully, how was your Christmas, Fraser? Uh, hopefully, it was good. <laughs> hopefully, yeah. my plans weren't disrupted, and hopefully, um, when this episode comes out, I'll be doing things that I want to do and not uh, worrying about things uh, that is going on in the world. But otherwise, um, yeah, Merry Christmas. I'm sure it was good. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, we we don't know, but we'll find out in due course, I guess. But otherwise, you're doing well. Yeah, generally. Um, Good. I spoke to you about what two hours ago. You did. Yeah. So still, still the same as then. You did. Yep. Yeah. Good. I'm glad you're still the same. How about you? <laughs> I'm still going good. Uh, good. But let's address the elephant in the room. All ah! right. No, shut up, please. Go Dumbo. away. <laughs> Yep, Dumbo is here as a special guest. (laughs) Uh, No, the title, the final episode? Um, Well, just like at the end of 2020, we're going to be taking a season break. So obviously this was a little bit of clickbait, but please hear us out at the same time because it's uh, it's a little bit more than that as well. Uh, Yeah, just like at the end of 2020, we're going to be taking a season break. So that means uh, from this point onwards, uh, there won't be weekly episodes of Help, I'm Stuck in a Podcast. Um, However, the difference between... Uh, 2020 and 2021 is that this break might last for a little while longer and we just don't know how long that will be. Uh, The reason for it is a pretty critical reason uh, for running anything to do with collaborations. Uh, We're struggling to find a time where we're both present at the exact same time. Um, And there are definitely times where sessions have been cancelled over the year because of last minute changes of plans. Um, And that can cause quite a bit of issues in any plans that you do in life, whether that is in work, whether that is with your friends. You both got to be around and last minute change of plans can cause a bit of disruption. Um, However, um, when there's last minute adjustments and there's not enough time to arrange different things, episodes have had to be cancelled. And we've seen this before, uh, especially when Kai's had lots of last minute work to do for Jack. Jack definitely throws um, a good amount of work at Kai. Not saying that's a bad thing, Jack. Well done. Uh, you are giving him good money. Uh, but at the same time, <laughs> also, there's commitments with uh, Kai's band as well. Yeah. And because of that, you know, not being able to find the time, it's it, it's difficult to commit, I guess, to our current weekly format. Um, you know, especially with everything going on in the world at the moment, it, it becomes a bit demotivating. You know, we don't want to be like, oh, this week, COVID! This week, COVID. This week, more COVID. And that that's more prominent. Prominent? Is that the right word? <laughs> pro- prominent. Pro- prominent, yeah. <laughs> that's more prominent, like, at the moment with the increase in everything. And it, it's not the nicest thing, you know. And me personally, because of the amount I have to edit as well, I, I'm stuck on the computer pretty much most of the day. And in a general world, it's not ideal you know i've got i've got a dog i have to take him out as well i've got just general life commitments as well i've got to do stuff that's just not always on the computer you know and generally next year as well is a year where i want to focus a lot more on music to the point where i'm most likely going to be buying a new apple mac so that i can start producing stuff from home a lot easier um that we fancy yeah, I, it was after, you know you know the thing that me and Nath did where we did our hit song in 24 yes. hours? After doing that and seeing how much like better it was to kind of do it on Logic and stuff, because it's just a lot easier to kind of get the hang of, I was kind of like, mm, I want to do this. And if I, if I did it like a lot more as well, I could probably release like more full-on covers rather than like just guitar covers, because, you know, I can program drums and stuff through that i'm not saying i can't do it through my current like uh audio software or anything like that but it's it's a lot easier to do it through logic than it is through any other software other than like garage band you know but i don't want to use garage band <laughs> yeah um so yeah i think next year i'm going to be working on a lot more music stuff as you know it's my it's my true passion and you know i've just also released 
uh, multiple, or I am releasing multiple recordings uh, of stuff that we've done with our band, and that's going to be coming out early next year. But yeah, I want to focus on, you know, what I enjoy and follow what I believe to be my path in life. And, you know, I'm not saying I don't like creating content online. Obviously, I love creating content, uh, content online. And I love doing the podcasts and stuff and just general online stuff. But, you know, I want to focus more on not being on the computer so much and being with my passion of music and just being, you know, off the computer a little bit more and spending a bit more time in the world, I guess, rather than looking at a screen because it it's a lot of time that i spend looking at a screen so as you can tell from what kai said there um the if, for everybody that doesn't like long things um i don't know why you listen to a podcast first of all because these are all very long episodes uh <laughs> but basically um kai's reprioritizing um and from what you've heard the podcast can't be prioritized as much and we've seen it this year um where he's gone and focused more on music and it's worked out really well with all of the bands and um not all of the bands all of the uh band performances that's what i meant to say all of the band performances um the guy's gone and done uh with his band king for a day um and so on and so forth the podcast it can't be prioritized um on kai's side as much um and i like, personally i love i love doing the podcast i really enjoy it and i'd love to continue it especially in this format i've always said when talking to other people about the podcast that i love the chat show format uh mm-hmm. where we talk about what's going on in our lives what's going on in the world um and everything that's going on because it just feels more personal and especially for people like for people that know us it's literally just story time um and you know it still feels personal and it's just stories of what's going on with us um and you know we've had people like will yay shout out to you because i know he listens to every single episode um, and he's been like oh, oh my god i'm a celebrity yeah will listens that's um, really cute yeah no will listens um oh, and hi, he's will. like he's like oh my god thanks for the shout out <laughs> but without the oh my god part last week he um hold on a second let me just do a quick um scroll up he went woo podcast shout out um and then he the other day he said to me hello influencer and i was like what do you mean influencer um and then he was like how am i only just find out that jack septicai and jack's films aren't called jack because obviously we talked about that in uh last week's episode so we'll <laughs> listen did. to quite a few of these um so for friends it's like story time it is quite fun to listen and um, for everybody else what you hear is what you get like i like to say that we're pretty genuine um and everything that we talk about on the podcast in the way that we talk about is exactly how we talk about in real life as well we don't do scripts as such uh we literally just do reading for like partly reading from a script yeah we obviously we had to plan out this episode um but for literally every single other episode we just have bullet points and that is the way we go um it works nicely and some would say it's unprofessional i know some of the bigger podcasts are like oh my god how can you do it freehand and that's because they're more professional than us whereas we're like a fun podcast um people that want to listen to us will listen to us but ultimately uh because it's a chat show podcast unless people um unless people are there for the people that are on the podcast then it's quite hard to branch out in the area it's a very very difficult area to branch out in um anyway yeah that was a massive tangent uh i love this style of podcast but it does get a little bit difficult uh to be able to bring in new content each week with restrictions preventing us from being um from going out um out and about and actually gaining those new experiences and new stories it is great when we're able to do so and obviously we do have a lot of history that we can talk about as well um but uh, at the same time it is good to talk about current things people enjoy hearing about our opinions on current topics um hence why we've never talked about nfts and cryptocurrencies <laughs> no we talk about <laughs> cryptocurrencies we're not talking about nfts fuck that um, waste of space that's what they are that's <laughs> that's the that's the discussion there that's it um so yeah other than that though where that's a problem like that thing in our lives we like to talk about things that are reactive you know we like to talk about stories based on changes that are actively going on but where there's not much of a change it does make it a little bit more difficult we don't want to focus on the change in covid every single week and i know that we've lost some viewers actually from talking about covid a lot because that's taken up a lot of uh time in each month of the podcast we definitely talk about it at least once a month and yeah it, it affects us all and it's a prominent part in everybody's lives i'm sure we all know about it and i'm sure we all want a break from hearing about it um and we said as well at the very start of um 2020 and at the end of um sorry at the very start of 2021 and at the end of 2020 we were like well we need to take a break so then we can catch up because of covid um it's hard for us to think of that new content 
and it's kind of the same thing here so yeah we want a break from that but plus kai and i work well together in the podcast that's nothing which makes the podcast what it is today um however without kai it's also not exactly the same if that makes any sense whilst we do have a uh, special mm-hmm. stepping guest such as aiden who's pretty much been part of the furniture now uh, with the amount he's come on over the last year um shout and he's done aiden. great shout out to aiden thank you very much for the step-ins uh, we could continue doing um, the podcast with regular guest hosts such as him, um, but it's unfair um, for Aiden, for example, where I've gone and sometimes called him last minute because Kai's had a last minute change of plans and wasn't able to attend when literally the podcast goes out the next day and things go up up in there and I'm on fire and everything's blowing up. Um, it's hard to suddenly um, come up with that change of plans because then suddenly we need to rely on other people. Um to come up and s- step in and say oh yes i have 30 minutes availability starting from in two minutes time and suddenly have to whip something together with the current plans um with somebody who's never necessarily seen them all together that's happened a couple of times and it's great to be able to put out something which i'm still happy with but at the same time it's not a very good working schedule after all this is a collaboration between me and kai um we both need to be happy um with the current format of the podcast and i think it's fair to say um that it's hard for both of us to carry on uh, as it currently is where we're not able to get that commitment each week yeah and oh go on were you gonna say uh yeah so because we're not able to get that commitment each week um i need to do a rethink so obviously i do want the podcast to carry on as it currently is um it would be great for the podcast to carry on as it currently is but it would also not be fair on uh not just both of us um to like if i were to t- tell kai right never shop again let's just have guest hosts all the time that'd be unfair on him it's unfair on me for where kai's not showed up um and last minute like late at night i get a message saying I can't do it now. And I'm like, no shit, you haven't showed up all day. You know, it's things like that. It's really hard um, to be able to carry on with things like that. So we need to have a rethink. Um, we don't know how that would work as of yet, though. Um, and yeah, as this, as, uh, as this is a collaboration between me and Kai, we would both need to be happy for a change in arrangement to proceed. Um, as it may take, let's just say, for example, with Kai not having that much time, it may take Kai a little further away from the daily runners of the podcast. So... You know, it's, a, it's an agreement. It's a collaboration and there needs to be an agreement made. So, yeah, it might take Kai further away. Yeah, and, you know, lack of time on my hands lately. Especially with, like, I guess doing more things generally as well, you know? Like, I've I generally done a lot more stuff myself. Like, this month, obviously, I've done pretty much daily videos. Obviously, I've missed a few days here and there. And a couple of weekends ago, I definitely missed that whole weekend because there was meant to be something out, but it didn't get approved in time so i had to wait for the weekend for them to be back in their offices and stuff which was annoying but whatever um and you know i've also been doing a lot more for jack uh the more channels he's been doing and stuff and obviously thomas stopped editing for jack which means i had more stuff to do for jack in general um more band commitments as well by doing more rehearsals and making more songs and general you know general life as well like obviously there's been a few rough moments as well that have happened, you know, just for both for both of us in, you know, the recent, what, maybe three months? Yeah. Um, and sometimes it is just really difficult to spare, like, even a spare minute, you know? And, you know, like I said earlier, we're, we're spend, wanting to spend less time on the computer and just kind of being out and doing things a lot more rather than just sitting at home staring at the screen it, it's just becoming a little bit more stressful just to dedicate specific time to certain moments i guess um and obviously you know this has been a lovely project to work on um but you know i have to think about time management generally a lot more kai's not good at time management yeah you're right <laughs> um yeah so this is a normal part of life um you'll find that at some point in your life and you may already be doing it now that you'll need to reprioritize um and you will need to think about what you put your focus on and this is kai's prioritization time he doesn't want to focus on the podcast as much he doesn't have as much time for it um and especially where he's got a lot of uh a lot of time a lot of time with his work being on the computer he wants to take his time away from the computer so you have to make sacrifices and in this case it's the podcast and there could be other things but at the moment it's the podcast to see how things get on so with that being said 
this isn't necessarily the final episode. I know that I definitely don't want to end um, Help I'm Stuck in a Podcast because I've really, really loved doing Help I'm Stuck in a Podcast ever since we did our first episode in August 2019. Bear in mind that is uh, two years ago and over two years four ago. or five months. Yeah. Which is crazy. So we've been doing this for a very long time. So, you know, it's good for things to last this long. Um, but it has come to that point now um, where, yeah, I definitely I definitely don't want to end it. Um, I've loved it. I've learned loads from doing it. And I continue to enjoy uh, pushing out the podcast every single week. Um, and I think it'd be a shame for it to just end just because we struggle to operate at half capacity. Um, mm. But I can't continue, um, first of all, without Kai. Uh, because you know this is what makes the podcast um and if it was about kai you know i'd have to have a think about the new format um i need to have a think of format which works with kai whether he can commit some time or whether it works well even with if kai were to be present or maybe even myself not present like if kai were to take the lead for example bring on his guests um you know we need to have a think of the format like it doesn't we don't want to take away from like the whole chat show format but we need to have a think of the operational format um I guess the best example is um, when we did the season one of the podcast, I literally took on everything. Um, I did the editing, the uploading, the thumbnail, the description, the everything. And then we did a rejig to just uh, justify even and out the load a little bit. And now I just do the editing. Kai does the metadata and stuff and the thumbnails and stuff like that. So Kai does the front face and stuff. I do the back end stuff and it works. It works out really well. Mm. But if Kai weren't to be there, that's not to say, oh, just me do the thumbnails. It's actually recording the entire episode as well. The actual content, the main thing, the reason why everybody's here. Um, so we need to think what would make help him stuck in a podcast still help him stuck in a podcast, but with less Kai or less me or something else, you know, it's hard. It's hard to, it's hard to even put into words. Um, because it's, it's not like me saying, oh yeah, can I fuck off? Um, it really is, how would the podcast run um, without it? Like, to try and maintain it at the quality as it is today. Not saying we're high quality, but you know, it is a nice, friendly, fun show, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll see. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled on Twitter as well, at Stuck in a Podcast. Because ultimately, any news will be posted there. And I'll definitely be talking about it in streams and such as well. So feel free to follow me um, on my platforms, Razor RL. And even Kai might talk about it as well, at Kairos Best, um, on pretty much every platform as well. Follow us on our platforms there, uh, because that's where we'll be putting out any information. But I think with this also being the end of 2021, as well as the end of Season 2, um, let's go back over the year and pick out our favourite moments. Go on, do you want to do, do you want to take it in turns? Yeah, let's take it in turns. You go first. Uh, so, right at the beginning of this year, one of the first things that happened, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll add something. One of the first things that happened at the beginning of this year is it snowed. Remember it did back snow. back in like January, was it? That was a weird time. Yeah, it, it was, it went from being pretty warm to the next week, but I say pretty warm, I mean like, you know, 10 degrees to suddenly yeah. like, what, one? <laughs> yeah. Minus one? Two? Um, and that was the first time that Coda got to see snow, which was really sweet. Adorable. I got to bring him out and, uh, I started the idea of a Where's Coda book. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, that was a good idea. Um, and I never committed to that because I couldn't get enough photos of him. Um, oh, I'll try again next year. Yeah, if, if it's, <laughs> if it snows, that is. I, I've That's seen, true. you know, on, on, uh, I've seen all these articles being like, oh, would you lots of snow over Christmas? And it's like, oh yeah, you see the same article like every week. <laughs> Literally, it's just copy and pasted from last year. It's copy and pasted from yesterday, let alone last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I really enjoyed uh, the snow at the beginning of the year. Uh, you know, only for the like the first hour or two. After that, I really couldn't give a crap about it. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. It kind of got in the way. But it was nice to kind of have some have a little bit and have Coda out and about in it as well. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah, that was my first kind of nice moment of the year, you know? Um, I'm not going to do mine in order as such. Um, I'm just going to do mine randomly. So one of the big milestones for this year, one of the things I was really proud of, obviously I've stopped doing this now, um, but I completed a year of weekly uploads. Woo! Um, or weekly content at least because some of them were streams um on the sunday like a double stream week but mm -hmm. i did do an entire year of new content every single sunday um which i was really really proud of um you should be. 
Yeah, I think that was from end of June to the end of June again. It was from the rebrand of Fraser IRL, which I'm super fucking happy with, but that was a 2020 thing, um, to, uh, yeah, June 2021. And yeah, well happy with it. So glad that I managed to do it. Yeah, you should, you should be really proud of that because that is, for anyone that doesn't upload anything, it, it's really difficult to dedicate, like, it, it's like a, it's like we're saying with what we just said a minute ago. It's really dedicate to, uh, hard to dedicate the time and come up with, like, an idea for something every single week you know alongside a full-time job <laughs> yeah i um, literally my entire week my entire week monday to friday um most of the operational hours of the day not exactly nine to five but you know more or less um yeah that's all eaten up by work so when i finish work i'm like oh i'm tired and i just want to chill out and then you know it it, it takes a lot of time a lot of effort because there's the planning phases the shooting phases the editing phases the brushing up and then uploading with seo and stuff like this yeah it's, it's like a six person job but you're doing it by yourself yeah it's it's a very difficult life <laughs> it is but it's good fun <laughs> yeah it's it's good fun um especially when it kind of all pays off for you as well like quite nicely and like you can see people enjoy it and you enjoy it you know i think do you know what that has happened in two areas i didn't expect i uploaded um a video which was um haber hotel in 2021 is terrible and then moshi monsters in 2021 is terrible and both of them did really well Habba Hotel I think is on 7,000 views which is amazing for my channel that is really good considering I've got 7,500 subscribers that's great for my channel mm. and then I just looked the other day Moshi Monsters has 1,800 views around about that which is again really great for my channel so yeah, that's um, really good. I think I might have to revisit them in 2022 oh that'd be so good you should yeah I will yeah that's really nice what else in your year Kai what else has been good um Shortly after it snowed, I did a live stream uh, where I was doing the gambling stuff. You remember that? Oh, yes. Haven't really done one of them for a while. I think the last one of those I did was in September, early September. Um, and right. That was, just a, that was just a quick thing. Uh, I think I've only done three ever, you know. I've not really wanted to do them too often. I was going to do it like the end of every month. You need to I... do a revisit. You need to revisit one for Christmas, Christmas gambling. Yeah, I thought of that. I, I might... I There's might. Christmas games out. There are, to be fair, but as long as people enjoy it, you know, as well, because otherwise, um, yeah, of course. I don't know. Some some things are like really nice to watch. Like obviously, Crazy Time is a good thing to watch because there's something happening constantly. Whereas like a Christmas slot or something like that is just spin, spin. Ah, uh, you'd be spin, surprised spin. though, because there's a lot of like bonus features. I, w- I watch oh, yeah, yeah. um, I watch a gambling streamer called Rostein or yeah. Rostein however you want to pronounce his name um or Rostein if you want to break it a little bit more um and uh i find him really fun to watch what he does uh which is not a format you'll be able to do because it requires a lot of money um he does bonus hunts where he goes and spins in his free time and then he saves the bonuses to open it all up on stream so it's kind of like a um loot box open for overwatch for example that where you saved up 80 boxes but he's gone and saved up 80 bonuses and you go and see how much the bonuses earn him um, throughout the course of the stream um and I, I just enjoy things like that because it's on a level where i would never do it myself yeah he has an insane amount of money um and literally yesterday i watched him win two million <laughs> which would be amazing um so you know it, it is fun to watch that so i think other people i i enjoy watching gambling of any size yeah fair because it stops me from doing it not that i have a crippling gambling addiction i never have and never will hopefully um but i just enjoy watching other people doing it because it kind of gives you that still feeling it gives you that feeling still of um the adrenaline rush of winning something but you're not the one winning something and if they lose you don't have the guilt of losing the money i get that i get that so i'm sure people enjoy it you see, you may. You, I was gonna be like, oh, I was so happy about how much I won. Then you said that guy won two million. I was like, well, <laughs> yeah, but he's he's gambling a thousand a thousand pounds a spin or a thousand fair, dollars a spin. You, can you imagine if I put a um, hundred quid in on that day instead of one pound? Yeah, that but you wouldn't been, have. But if I did, that would have been two hundred grand. Yeah, but you wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. No. Maybe Whereas somebody like, like him would. Maybe I should like, on Christmas just a random hundred pounds on something. 
Oh my god, fair enough. If you I, do, I could I couldn't dedicate to do that. I could do like a pound on something, but I I don't think I can really go any higher than that. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, let's go on then. So, when you were doing it, yeah, when I did it, I uh, did it in a live stream. I think the live stream lasted what, f- maybe four hours, five it was a hours. Very long so. time. And that the, the the starting was fifty pounds. I remember. So for fifty pounds start, that's quite a long time streaming because that yeah. could have just all ended in like you know, forty minutes. Um, but when I did that, um, I think I won I won two thousand pounds from a pound, I believe, on crazy Amazing. time. Amazing. And then I went and won a further one hundred and fifty pounds or something, or two hundred pounds, on an extra spin on there or something i can't remember it fully it was it was so long ago now at this point i don't remember the the ins and outs of it but i remember the reaction from it because i was gonna make a video on the reaction but i did not <laughs> i just can't believe it was this year i feel like it was last yeah, year yeah but it, it was this like year a lot longer ago doesn't it yeah it's because so much has happened this year compared to last year <laughs> that everything that happened earlier this year feels like last year compared to you know if you spoke about anything last year it doesn't feel like last year because it nothing it, happened it last kind of year. Feels like nothing, yeah, exactly. But um, that was a nice little moment, I'd like to say. Agreed, mm. definitely agreed. Um, another one of mine um, this year. I mean, the celebration isn't the fact that I've aged um, because that happens every single year, but the fact that I managed to actually have a birthday and have a really, really, really good celebration with great close friends. Mm. Um, it was fantastic. So many. Uh, great people uh came out from different parts of the country um all came down to bristol and we had a lovely night out together where we actually did something um normal so we actually all went out clubbing and this is at a time where cases were a little bit lower and clubbing was allowed and this is the first like non-covid safe thing that i'd done since the start of covid but it was good that like all of us went came together we went had good meal all went out and had a good time clubbing next day we all went and did um an escape room and i had a great time doing that more food went to an all you can eat my favorite all you can eat and we just had a really really great time yeah zazas um we had an absolutely fantastic time so the fact that i managed to go and celebrate my birthday to an extent which i haven't done in absolutely years regardless of covid um with some really great friends um yeah i'm so happy i managed to do that this year that's really sweet i i I, it sucks that i missed that because i I yeah you're not a great friend you're just a friend (laughs) fuck off (laughs) i'm sorry that stuff happened yeah you naughty boy (laughs) um but kind of related to that as well you know my uh we had all of you guys down here for like a barbecue and also for our gig as well which was really nice um which was a couple months before but still really really nice like um it was it was nice to be playing a gig having like all you guys down for the barbecue because the weather was really nice as well it said it's gonna rain and it didn't really did it yeah yeah it was all right it stuck out and it held out really well and i i think that's quite a highlight this year was having that having that gig having all of you guys down because it was it was just nice to have friends again you know yeah definitely because it, it had been, what, two two years since an insomnia or something, basically, by that point? Oh, it had been a very long time, yeah. August yeah, this year was two a two-year anniversary of not going to an insomnia. Yeah, so just under two years of not seeing, you know, most of your closest friends kind of sucked. So when, when everyone could stay around finally and hang out, that was really nice. And it, it was nice to have uh, the gig with them, obviously. It was nice to do our other gig in Tunbridge Wells more recently. And also record four brand new songs, which they'll be released soon. But that that was really fun. One of the other cool things about this year, um, on the topic of traveling to see um, people and friends and everything, I went and visited a new city this year, which was good fun. Um, yeah. I have not ever been to the city before. I've went to Manchester for the first time in my life. Um, and it was good to just be able to go somewhere completely new. It actually felt like well I, when i whenever i go somewhere i like to um 
have some knowledge of like what's going on. So like if you go Birmingham, for example, I already know Birmingham. You go Leeds, I already know Leeds. You go London, I already know London. So like I know my way around it quite easily. But Manchester, you literally have no idea. You're just dropped into the middle of a place where you've never been to before. No idea where anything is. You literally have to live by maps um, or other people to guide you. And it was really good fun. So I'm glad that I managed to get out to a new city this year. That's really nice. It, uh, Manchester's quite nice as well to kind of hang around in. It's a bit confusing because of like the town and stuff but yeah, nice. everything's everywhere it's so weird did you see like the three gregs yeah <laughs> all on the same street yeah there's just so much in one place and then you go to another place and there's like nothing yeah and then there's like two main centers as well it's like well, pick one then <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're right <laughs> i've only been to manchester once and it was literally the exact same sort of experience it yeah it's nice but confusing to get around very confusing um another thing that happened for me i started working with gibson guitars which was an insane thing that was back in i to be fair the first phone call i had with them was back in january wow (laughs) which was uh when it snowed so literally the day it snowed which was like middle or end of january or something like that was the same time i had my first phone call with them and discussed things and they were like we're just kind of seeing what happens with a, with things opening back up. And as soon as we can, we'll have you up. And I was like, cool. Then things stayed shut. <laughs> and I was like, hey, guys, uh, how, how's everything going? Yeah. And they were like, yeah, yes, it's good. Uh, like, again, we'll, we'll get you up as soon as we can. And then finally in May of this year, that <laughs> took, took their time, obviously, with the world. Um, but in May this year got the invite to go up to their studios or their uh, warehouse even I guess yeah warehouse yeah. in London and hang out there for the day and just kind of have a nice trip in London you know and it was really nice to kind of to kind of be out of a pandemic but in it you know yeah it was kind of like the first sort of sense of normality I guess in like two years definitely sort of yeah but yeah it was really nice to start working with them and I'm hoping to do more stuff with them next year um, but we'll see how that goes. This year as well, one of my uh, more relaxed highlights. Um, I, as everybody knows, because I've banged on about this all year, um, I got my brand new TV this year, um, which is one of my uh, bottom drawer presents to myself. So then when I move out, I've already got a good TV. Um, and throughout the last year, I have watched 633 uh, individual pieces of content, whether that is an episode of a series of a show, um, or that is a movie, or a documentary. So let's just say Brooklyn Nine-Nine, if that has 22 episodes, and yeah, that's 22 individual things. Yeah, I've watched 633 individual things um, this year alone, totaling... 18,510 minutes, which is 308 and a half hours, which is 12.85 days. So if I started off the new year watching Netflix, it would be almost the 13th of January by the time I would have finished everything I watched this year straight. (laughs) That's pretty mad, Fraser. It's ridiculous. (laughs) But I guess it kind of shows how much you actually like use it as well. You know? Oh my God. Yeah. It's the best purchase I've had in a very long time. Normally when it comes to big purchases, I'm very reluctant yeah, um, and I want too. to get a good deal or I want to be really motivated to do it. So for example, the biggest purchase before that was my computer. I spent two grand upgrading my computer um, and two grand is like one of the biggest purchases except from a car, but you know, cars are something completely different. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, t- that was the biggest purchase before. So I think I, I can't remember how much I spent, but the, regardless, the TV was um, a big purchase and I had to commit to it. And I'm so glad that I've used it as much as I have because it totally justifies every last pound that I've spent on it. Oh yeah, for sure. Especially, you know, after 13 days basically of footage watched of things, then... <laughs> Literally 13 days straight of good. content over an entire year uh, amongst my day-to-day livings. That's that's ridiculous yeah you know i'm sure like a lot like i guess if it was like your actual like main tv in your house or whatever it'll probably be much higher than that oh probably but i think just for me as an individual um i've I've done a pretty good job there well done me (laughs) you have well done fraser (laughs) um go on what else have you got let's do one more each uh i'm gonna go with going on multiple trips around the uk this year that was a lot of fun for me. Um, obviously, I, I've i been 
I think when I started this year, la- last year, I think I drove maybe 200 miles total. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Which is pretty, pretty poor for... It was quite low. A whole year. Um, this year, I think I've driven at least 10,000 miles. Amazing. And that is from going, you know, e- even like short, short haul trips from like here to our rehearsal rooms or here to someone's house or something like that. Um, but generally, I've just driven like loads more places. Like I, the other day, I drove to Brighton which I don't really do that often and I obviously drove back and I, I drove to Birmingham as well the other day I drove back from there um, I drove up to Liverpool which was a long journey but more entertaining than, than the train you know of course uh, and that was a really nice trip because uh, I'd never been to Liverpool I had I've been to Liverpool once but I'd never like been there for the actual city part um, and it was nice to kind of look around, do things, hang out, and just generally have a nice time. And then after that, I got to go and see Jack and Becky on the way back home. Um, and obviously, that was as a result of our our trip to Kefalonia in Greece getting cancelled because of uh, COVID. Um, so that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for that, which was really nice. And I enjoyed that a lot. And it, it kind of made me appreciate a lot more of the North more than the south i guess as well fair enough um, because I, I i i do enjoy being kind of near cities or in the cities a lot more than i do being oh you should have drove to bristol i could have showed you bristol again I'll, I'll drive to bristol i'll drive to bristol next month next month's a really empty month if you if you're free i will do it good let's do it um, we'll do it um but yeah other than that i think it was just really nice to kind of be on trips and like kind of be around the uk a lot more and doing things you know yeah yeah Go on, last one for you as well. I think finally I'll keep this on the podcast note because I think this is a really uh, good note to end on. Uh, at the start of the year, uh, we rebranded the podcast to the artwork that you see today across all of our social medias, the Spotify page itself. Um, and yeah, it's completely rebranded and I'm super happy of it. Um, it was a gigantic improvement over what we had before, um, which was basically very based on us. We use blue and red. Yeah. And it's quite a bad design choice, to be honest. And like our um, default one as well. Remember that? The uh, oh yes. Just our what was it like? <laughs> shocked faces, was it? Yep, that's right. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it was. It's definitely a massive improvement because it looks a lot more professional. Looks a lot more clean, and I'm super happy of it. It's probably one of my favourite ones outside of Fraser IRL. Um, yep. That 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 probably helped me to kickstart the rebrand of Fraser RL to be honest uh, because it was nice to have a fresh start with the podcast so I thought hmm hmm because I was thinking about the, the fresh start for the podcast for quite a while um, obviously Fraser RL came before the rebrand of the podcast um, but it, it kind of went hand in hand with one came the other and you know just think about rebranding it happened with both of them um, and I'm super happy of the way the podcast looks today I'm super happy of the way the podcast has ran up until this very point um, and yeah I think we look, it was, we it's definitely a gigantic pictures. improvement. We I think what really we'll do weird. as well is going into season three. Um, we we'll probably, if we do go into season three, um, we will probably keep the artwork that you see today um, because I I still really like it. It's really clean and very pleasing to the eye. So yeah. we'll stick with this. Yeah. Oh, the final one. Sorry, we completely missed this one. Good news for both of us, we're fully vaccinated. We've had three jabs and we're really, really grateful that we've been able to be vaccinated, um, especially after how things have gone um, over 2020 with no vaccines being available at all. And then 2021, the rollout being stepped up. The fact that we've now had three um, and we're up to date, so we're um, as protected as we possibly can be at this very time in life um, yeah. against the newest variant, the Omicron variant that's coming out. Uh, yes, we're all fully vaccinated now. We've had all three jabs and we're both very grateful. Did you have any side effects from your last one? Same as jab number two. Um, I was tired and I had arm pain in my non-jabbed arm. No shivers or anything like that? No. God, this one knocked me out. <laughs> <laughs> This one literally had me like lying in bed. I I went to sleep really early and I woke up at something like quarter past five in the afternoon. And Sounds then about right. I stayed in bed until seven, got up for like ten minutes, got back into bed, and by the time I finally got out of bed again, it was like I don't know, 
maybe quarter to twelve. Jesus. It was awful. And then by like two AM I was like starting to feel better again. It was so bad. But the main thing is beyond that, we're both fully jabbed and we are grateful for it. So Yes. So thank you, NHS. Great final good news for twenty twenty one. Yes. And I think that's it for now. Again, thank you so much for listening to this week's episode of Remember, this isn't necessarily the final episode, which is why we're not ending it as a goodbye, farewell, if we just say and all of that. You know, we're not going to do any of that. Um, this is just taking a season break, but for an unspecified amount of time. So to get updates um, as to when and if things come back, uh, follow us on the Help I'm Stuck in a Podcast Twitter, which is at Stuck in a Podcast. Make sure you also stay followed here on Spotify and keep notifications on because you'll be the first to know when an episode goes live. Fun fact, an episode normally goes live an hour before you've even announced it on Twitter. So that's why it's good to stay followed and have your notifications on. Uh, thank you, of course, for all of the support over season two um your support has been absolutely incredible and it's been lovely to hear from the people that uh do regularly tune in to the podcast every single week uh, we've even had a big shout out as well um lucy um she is somebody who has um binged the entire entire two seasons of the podcast this year um well, and her, her spotify wrapped was Hold on a minute. I do have a picture of this. The Spotify wrapped for the podcast was the highest minutes I have seen. 3,300 minutes. Fucking hell. On Help I'm Stuck in a Podcast this year. Um, oh my God. So big shout out to people just like Lucy who listens to this podcast every single week. We do appreciate this point. We see you, we hear you, and we love hearing what you tweet us on Twitter as well. Feel free to tweet us what has been your favorite episode of season two um, at Stuck in a Podcast. And make sure you follow us on our personal Twitters as well, at Fraser IRL and at Kairos Best, so you can keep in the loop with us when we are not on the podcast. Is there anything you'd like to say, Kai? Um, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> thank you for a lovely year, everyone. And thank you for all the support everywhere. Here, there, uh, just everywhere in general. It's been really nice. It's been nice to hang out all the time with Fraser, of course, as well. So thank you, Fraser. Um, and uh, yeah likewise but yeah have a lovely you know new year enjoy yourselves enjoy what's left of the of the year um, and you, again as I said last week stay safe stay healthy and be on your best behaviour as well obviously that's important <laughs> very very true so yeah thank you so much for listening to this episode is there anything else you want to say Kai? Mm. No, not really. Finally, I can point out the running gag every single episode where we ask each other something else we want to say. It's always, nah, not really. It's never <laughs> anything else. It's always intentionally supposed to be, nah, not really. And it's not supposed said, to be said uh, any other way. I think we said after, like, it must have been, like, the first episode, to be honest. I think we said uh, we were going to... I think I said, like, right at the end, <laughs> we should keep that for a laugh. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, it's, and it's just stuck. It was good. So for the eagle-eared people, well done if you figured out that one. <laughs> well done, everyone. Anyway, that's all. Thanks so much for listening. And don't forget, stay safe and have a fantastic 2022. Bitch. Yeah, bitch. Bitch. <laughs>